Is this the Apple Vision Pro we should have gotten at launch? So much has changed since my first review. Today we are diving deep into Vision OS 26, the massive influx of new apps and even SteamVR support to see what this headset is truly capable of. You don't want to miss this, definitely. <laughs> my name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DVR. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay guys, let's do a short un unboxing. I know there are millions of unboxings of this headset already on YouTube, but not from Voodoo the EVR. <laughs> so let me do also an unboxing. So they also sent me the, the bag here. Look at this, the Vision Pro bag. Really nice quality. And yeah, this is it here. Here there comes the battery. There's also a small guide. The travel case where you can see um, how it works. And uh, then here's a um, pouch for the additional equipment like the uh, yeah, cables and so on. And this is for the headset. This quality is insane. I've never seen such quality back. Wow, absolutely amazing. Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, of course, it's very expensive. It, it should be high quality, right? <laughs> Yeah, and here, look at this. Look at this beautiness. We have the one terabyte version from the Vision Pro. Really nice. So let's open it. Here we go. Well, it's, this is really heavy. Wow, insane. Really heavy. Oh, look at this. Here is it. Really nice, right? And let's see what's inside here before we check out the headset. So here we have the... Um, this is cleaning cloth. Yeah, you see that? Can clean the headset. Nice. And then here we have the light seal cushion. Check this out. You can use it. This is a white plus. So we have different ones here. You see that? It's magnetic. Then here we have the guide. Wow. Really nice. And uh, then we have the dual lamp, uh, dual loop band. This is optional. Yeah, you can use uh, this one or the dual loop, whatever you want. And uh, then we have this is the power adapter, European version. You can switch it to another one. Then we have the USB-C cable. And here is the battery that's connected to the Vision Pro. Can charge it here. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Isn't that nice, guys? And here, look at this beautiness. Look at this. Wow. That's amazing, right? So you can... Do it like this. And here we go. Wow. Amazing. This, this is insane quality. I mean, it's also insane price, but uh, <laughs> insane quality. And now look, look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. Brutal, right? This is nice. I always wanted to have this. Finally, guys. Finally. And here you can remove it and then put the other head strap on. And here this you can also remove. And when you see here it says, you can remove this, uh, 21W. And this is uh, measured from my face. There are different ones. Before you buy it in the, in the app, you have to measure your face and then they uh, bring you the correct facial interface. That's really nice. And this one is uh, white and this is white plus. Two different ones. I have to check out. I think uh, with this one you get closer to the lens and then of course you, uh, you have a bigger feed of you. So likely I will use this one. So yeah, let's see what's new since my last review. So anyone who saw my first video about the Apple Vision Pro uh, from February 2024 knows 
I was torn. Groundbreaking technology and unbelievable display, but also astronomical price, few native apps and an ecosystem that was still under construction. The big question was, is this the future or just an expensive developer kit? Today, many months and one major Vision OS 26 update later, we are taking another look. So Apple hasn't been sleeping. The software has been massively overhauled. There are thousands of new apps and doors have opened that I would have thought impossible back then. Let's systematically go through what changed and if the Vision Pro is maybe a little more worth its price tag now, right? So let's start with the most important thing the operating system. So I installed the beta of the Vision OS 26. Everybody can install the beta and it feels like what the Vision Pro should have been from the very beginning. The biggest everyday change is controlling the home view. Remember having to aim at a tiny dot with your eyes in the first version. So it's much more intuitive now. Palm up and then down and then pinch your fingers together and then the menu is right there. It's a small change with a huge impact on the flow and the flow is amazing with the Apple Vision Pro. The, the controls and the user interface is insane. It's even much better than the Meta Quest. Wow. Uh, speaking of flow, the home view is finally customizable. You can now arrange uh, the apps freely just like on an iPhone. It sounds basic but it makes a massive difference for daily use when you have your most important apps ready to go. You, you can even make groups when you hold an app and pull it to another app and then it's a group. Really nice. Let's move on to productivity. The Mac virtual display. Unfortunately to be honest uh, I don't own a Mac myself, so I can't uh, test it personally for now. In, in any case, previously you could mirror a 4K monitor. Now imagine a gigantic ultra-wide curved display floating in front of you. Of course, that gives you a lot more spaces to work with, combined with the new full Bluetooth mouse and keyboard support, which no uh, also allows keyboard pass-through, the Vision Pro becomes a true portable workstation in my opinion. Another interesting new feature is the photo app. Vision OS 26 can now analyze your regular 2D iPhone photos and give them spatial depth. It's not true 3D but the effect is astounding. Old memories suddenly take on a whole new dimension. Um, smaller things have also improved. There's now a dedicated train mode in addition to airplane mode. And the personas have been greatly improved. I tried it out and it looks incredibly realistic now. You really can't complain about it anymore. It looks insane. And also the hand tracking has been bumped to 90 Hz, making everything feel even more direct and fluid. And yes, you can now unlock your iPhone just by looking at it with the Vision Pro on. Uh, very nice. Uh, all right, and now for the part uh, many of you have been waiting for. Gaming. And something has happened here that changed the whole story of the uh, Vision Pro. Steam VR support. Okay, no, not official from Apple, yeah? But via an app called ALVR, which you can get through TestFlight. This is a beta platform uh, by Apple. The, the brilliant part, since the Vision OS 26 beta, there is official support for the PlayStation VR 2 controllers. That's absolutely amazing. The Vision Pro can detect them natively. The image quality is phenomenal thanks to the and very good Vision Pro displays with OLED and high resolution. But, and this is a big but, um, haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers of the PlayStation VR 2 controllers are not currently supported. So you won't feel any vibrations. That's a shame, but the mere fact that it's possible is a huge step forward. 
For fans of simulators, for example, this could be incredibly interesting already. So, remember the 600 maximum native apps at launch? That sounded like a lot, but many were just simple iPhone apps and Windows. We are now at over 2500 native apps designed specifically for the Vision Pro. Uh, of course, add to that the 1.5 million iOS apps that you can watch in 2D, of course. Some highlights are, for example, the complete Microsoft 365 suit for those who really want to work. Or Spatial Cam, which lets you stream your iPhone's camera feed directly into the Vision Pro. Uh, on the gaming front, things have moved forward too, at least a little bit. <laughs> we have some cool titles like Thrasher or the popular tabletop RPG Demeo. Or of course uh, Game Room uh, that offers a classic board game uh, in a great environment. But let's be really honest. We are still miles away from the MetaQuest's game library. That's a huge difference. The Vision Pro is still not a dedicated gaming machine. But where it shines is immersive content. The Apple immersive videos in the Apple TV app are in a class of their own. I can tell you. I lay in the bed and I watched the, the movies and, and scenes. It was insane. Yeah, I already said that in my review in last year. Prehistoric Planet Immersion, for example, or Wildlife have a production quality I have never seen anywhere else. Or the concepts of a Maze VR or the POV hikes from Explore POV are also really breathtaking. The most important point for many international viewers perhaps, the Apple Vision Pro is now officially available in more countries. For example here in Germany and in the UK since July 2024. You can try it out in Apple stores, which I highly recommend before spending this kind of money. Yeah, This is insane expensive still. Uh, oh, and I also tested Siri, <laughs> so you can uh, say open Disney Plus or so and, and it really works. And it's even much more useful in my opinion than on the iPhone because it can open apps and start content directly, hands free. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the verdict. Has the Vision Pro improved since my last review? Yes, massively indeed. Vision OS 26 and even Vision OS 2 before that um, closes many gaps and ma makes the user experience more polished. The ultra-wide Mac display is a killer feature pr for productivity. The unofficial Steam VR support is a huge promise for the future. And the app library is really, really growing. So is the uh, is the perfect VR headset now the Apple Vision Pro for everyone? No, of course not. The price is still extremely high, much too high. For pure gaming, a MetaQuest 3 is still the better choice. But for developers, prosumers and tech enthusiasts who want the absolute best in display and pass-through technology and live in the Apple ecosystem, the Vision Pro has majored from an interesting experiment into a serious tool. The gap to the competition in terms of hardware and software integration is still clearly noticeable. The entire user experience feels extremely good significantly better than with other VR headsets. I mean the Quest 3 also has nice hand tracking and user interface, but this is another category. It's absolutely insane. I, I love it. Yeah, I, I really love it uh, when, you, when you pull everything around and drag and, and so on. It feels so good. And you can even do it while seated. Yeah? It's, uh, it, it recognizes your hands everywhere. <clears throat> so what do you guys think? Has Apple done enough? to at least somewhat justify the price? Let me know in the comments below. I'm super excited to hear your opinions. 
If you enjoyed this uh, update, <laughs> give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell so you see more VR and MR content. And of course, guys, I will do more videos in the future about the Apple Vision Pro, uh, cool apps, uh, cool updates and what's new and so on. So definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. So thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Wurde wie ich.